The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has launched the metal cutting for titanium bulkhead of AMCA aircraft, as part of technology development at aircraft manufacturing division NASIC, and it was launched in the presence of senior officials from Aeronautical Development Agency and other government agencies. The titanium bulkheads are the backbone of the fuselage, and different titanium alloys will be used in the AMCA airframe as high cyclic loads under harsh environmental conditions require the airframe and critical systems to have outstanding resistance to fatigue high temperatures and environmental effects, and titanium alloys offer the best combination of properties to meet these requirements. At a time when the Chinese Air Force has embarked on an aggressive defense exercise across the border in Tibet, India has intensified fighter operations in Ladakh and frontline Rafale and Su-30 fighter jets are now carrying out increased sorties including night operations for the past few days. The Chinese Air Force has activated both the S-400 and HQ-9 systems, and Chinese fighter jets are carrying out increased sorties. A Brazilian Navy delegation met with the Chief of Western Naval Command in Mumbai, during which the two sides held extensive discussions on submarine technology, as well as maintenance of Scorpion-class submarines. This is significant as Brazil is building its first nuclear-powered SSN Alvaro Alberto, which is an enlarged Scorpion design, and there is a possibility that India and Brazil can collaborate on the SSN project. The Brazilian delegation also visited Mazagin dock shipbuilders, and a Scorpion-class submarine of the Indian Navy, as the Brazilian Navy is exploring options for collaboration towards maintenance of four of its Scorpion submarines. The chairman of Bharat Forge has said in an interview with the Sunsat TV, that the company is working to develop a 155mm rocket-assisted hypersonic artillery round, that can take out targets at 120 km away. Bharat Forge is carrying out in-house design of this artillery round, that will feature a rocket motor, to give hypersonic speeds to the projectiles, and a greater range than a non-assisted ballistic round. During the interview, around 12 Kalyani M4 high mobility armored personnel carrier was seen to be ready for delivery to the Indian Army, under a deal signed in 2021 for 27 Kalyani M4 worth 177 crore rupees. Advanced Weapons India Limited has fully indigenized the AO-18 barrel of AK-630 naval gun, and has test fired it successfully. The 30mm AK-630 M automatic gun mount is designed to engage air and surface targets, such as anti-ship missiles, aircraft helicopters and other types of air strike weapons. The private sector firm Solar Group has emerged as the first indigenous supplier of boosters for the BrahMos missiles. For the ramjet engine of the BrahMos missile to become operational, the missile has to achieve a certain max speed, and the boosters give the initial thrust to the missile to enable it to reach the required max speed. The boosters were earlier imported, but now the solar group has begun the supplies of the fully indigenized boosters to BrahMos Aerospace. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has launched 75 defense products powered by artificial intelligence in New Delhi, that included an artificial intelligence-based silent sentry and gesture recognition system, which are rail-mounted robots that have already been deployed on the Pakistan border in J and K. It can do continuous patrolling for six hours, and it automatically charges itself by going to the charging point, and then starts patrolling again. It recognizes faces from its database, and sends out alert to a base 10 kilometers away when it sees an unknown person. Before selecting a final artificial intelligence-enabled unmanned all-terrain vehicle for large-scale acquisition, the Indian Army will conduct trials in Ladakh, for which Kalyani Group will send its enhanced collaborative autonomous system, that can carry a load of 500 kilograms and operate for 6 hours on battery, and can operate for 14 hours on motor. 
another vehicle built by Taurus Robotics and Bharat Earth Movers Limited is also under consideration, that has a payload capacity of 750 kilograms.